Ishikawa Diagram At the end of this video, you'll be able to use the Ishikawa Diagram to identify potential causes of any problem. The problem can be anything such as You being in a lot of bad debt High number of customer complaints or accidents in an organization High number of crimes in a city or country Etc. I strongly recommend you to watch my video on structured brainstorming prior to this video to understand brainstorming first. Link is in the i button and description box. Output expected out of Ishikawa diagram is Potential causes of problems identified. Let's not forget, Ishikawa diagram helps only to find out the potential causes of a problem or nonconformity. Further validation of causes needs to be done to find out the causes and root causes. What is the Ishikawa Diagram? Ishikawa Diagram is a structured brainstorming tool. Categories generally taken are Man, Machine, Method, and Material. But it depends on the problem. Ishikawa Diagram was developed by Keoru Ishikawa, hence called as Ishikawa Diagram. This tool is also known as fishbone diagram, cause and effect diagram. This is called as fishbone diagram, since it looks like bones of fish. And is called as cause and effect diagram, because the causes of the problem are shown on the left side of the diagram. And effect that is the problem is shown on the right side. This tool is used to identify the potential causes of a problem. Input and resources required. The input required for the Ishikawa diagram is problem description. The problem description has to be clear and concise. Refer to my video name Date D Part 2 which is on problem description for more details, the link is in the description box. Other inputs or resources required are the same as for brainstorming. Who is involved, knowledge and competence required. People involved in Ishikawa diagram preparation should possess knowledge about the process or work and knowledge about potential causes of problem steps involved step 1 form a team this has to be done based on the symptom let's take an example of a high bad debt symptom for solving this problem you might need family members spouse friends etc to be part of the problem solving team step 2 Describe the problem properly with the help of this team. Here, the team describe the problem as too much bad debt, $100,000 that is accumulated over 10 years which includes various debts such as credit card, personal loans, etc. Please refer to my videos on 8D, I have covered step 1 and step 2 in detail. The link is in the description box. Step 3 Identify the major categories or causes to brainstorm on. We have identified income, lifestyle, behavior, control of expenses categories for the debt problem to brainstorm on. In the manufacturing field, use of terms such as man, machine, method, material, mother nature, measurement, mission, maintenance, management or money power, etc. categories are generally taken for a Shikawa diagram preparation. In product marketing related problems, categories such as product or service, price, place, people, process, physical evidence, performance etc. are taken. And in the service sector, categories such as surroundings, suppliers, systems, skill, etc. are taken. These are some examples of categories taken for brainstorming to prepare the Ishikawa diagram. But these categories are not exclusive to any specific sector and can be used in any field. Step 4. Select one of the categories or major causes identified and conduct the brainstorming to identify potential causes related to that category or major cause. We have identified too much outing and addictions as primary causes under lifestyle category. Step 5. Identify further second level, third, fourth, and further level causes until there are no further causes coming up in brainstorming. For example, under primary cause of addictions, we have identified secondary causes such as alcohol and cigarette. 
Under the primary causes of too much outing, we have identified secondary causes such as parties, restaurants, clubs and traveling. Step 6. Repeat step 4 and 5 until all categories or major causes are brainstormed on to find out potential causes. Have a look at this Ishikawa diagram in which I have covered all four categories we had identified to find out potential causes of high bad debt problem. You can pause this video for a moment to understand this Ishikawa diagram. Step 7. Maintain this Ishikawa diagram as a document, also called Master Ishikawa, so that it can be used in future problem solving since it is not needed nor economical to do brainstorming on the same topic every time. Step 8. Proceed to further validation of causes to find out whether it is an actual cause. Step 9. Identify root cause, through tools such as YY analysis, hypothesis testing, etc. Step 10. Identify and implement corrective action to eliminate the root causes identified. Step 11. Check the effectiveness of the corrective action implemented by checking whether the problem is recurring. Step 12. Make the corrective actions part of the system and, or regular routine. Step 13. Congratulate the team to motivate them. I will upload videos to cover step 8 to 13 in detail. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates regarding the same. As a bonus for watching this full video, I am sharing one page summary of this video in turtle chart format. The link is in the description box. Thank you so much for your time.